Hi, Seekers. Welcome to No Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and if you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. Hello, it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no tacos. <laughs> Maybe I should make taco salad tonight. That actually sounds really good. Mm hmm. How's everybody doing? Y'all in here. Wow. Hello, everybody. Lock dog. <laughs> Lock dog, you crack me up, honestly. Now, remember, we're not a hate channel. We just react to things on the internet. Nonsense. We try to point out uh, discrepancies of the truth, we shall say. Otherwise known as lies. Lies. <laughs> but we try to do it in a humorous way. Because there is no real hate here. We like comedy, laughter, and sometimes people are just willingly putting it out on the internet as facts or truths. And we go, oh, I don't think so. And that's what we're all about. So there's that. Good morning, Anna Gags. Herrera Girl, good morning, Bella Wolf. The real question from the thumbnail pick is, that's really a knee. You know what? We're going to get into it. Hmm. Did Shani really go to the hospital? Any of us that have ever worked in... Yeah, I got some sort of hive. Uh, any uh, of us that have ever worked in the hospital, we know how things are run. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to hear the story and just, you know, I just... They have no car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got no car. Uh, they're, they're broke as a joke. They sit on the couch in the uncle's house begging for your money. You know, you need to go out there. You need to earn your wages, people, and be a vital part of society. And then give your money to them for anything you can imagine. And sometimes Shani comes up with these crazy health stories because um, according, you know, for six years now, she's actually been dying without a diagnosis or any imaging, nothing. So we don't know if this is just another feel sorry for me, don't hate me, um, right? Because CPS took my kids because we refused to feed my kids um, or give them a social life. Um, and so CPS came in, took the kids, and there were steps to take in order to get your kids back. But in two years, hasn't taken any of those steps, right? In fact, what did she say? Just think of it like they're going on a vacation. Yeah, she basically gave her kids away because they said Rev needed to be removed from the house or she would lose her kids. So Rev came back. Because I don't think her kids are able to get her the things she needs. And we know Rev will. You know, he'll run around, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Looking for medication and stuff like that. So anyway, <clears throat> and they do like to use politics and religion as weapons to tell you about yourself. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> they're not doing anything to help themselves. Mm. Anyone new to Shani, Rev kicked the autistic child in the head and the stomach, according straight out of Shani's mouth. Um, and she still expected them to live with Rev. Do you remember when the children were crying? Please don't let him come back. And she'd already decided to let him come back. Yeah, so... We like to cover once in a while what's going on in the Shani and Rev world, even though it doesn't seem like much has changed in two years. Same shit, different day. Do you guys ready for this? Lord, give us the strength to get through this. Thank you. Amen. Uh, seriously. It is awful. But the, the new people, like over there on the Instagram, that they may have found through sympathy and um, preaching... Um, you know, you always got to let the new people be aware of what's going on. 
Yes, uh, Trippin is right. Rev got fired after working at Burger King because of probably his hygiene, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it was terrible. It is terrible. It is terrible that they're still even on the internet. The children did live in a house of horrors, yes. I wouldn't want a stray animal to live in that mess of a house. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started. All right, let's uh, turn the camera around. We got this, there she is, all greasy, per usual. Greasy. Our girl is always greasy. Greasy, greasy. That is not wet hair, by the way. Never is. <laughs> Never is. Let's make sure our volume's up. All right, let's see what's going on in the Shani and Rev world. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Ugh. Oh, no. God, I look swollen in my hands, even. Those I hands. I told you. They're like King Kong hands. You do. God. Just. Yeah, look at that. Honey, your hands are not swollen. You're obese. Yeah, you got swelling everywhere, honey. He goes, you got swelling everywhere, honey. <laughs> okay, Rev. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. You well, the other hand matches, so I'm going to say hey, they're a perfect match. Which means lay off the... How do you sit on a couch for two years and you don't lose weight, but you're starving all the time? This doesn't make sense to me. She'd be a skinny uh, legend by now. I am completely swollen today. Like Most days, I'll be honest, I sleep on the couch. Um, what? Because um, it like gives me back support. Last night, I was cold and lonely and I... Went to bed with Jason and... <laughs> Poor Jason. <laughs> the torture never ends, Jason. Slept next to him. So his little scrawny body kept you warm. I would figure you're a walking furnace. What do you mean you got cold? <laughs> and the whole time, my RLS won't stop. Look at the back of her head. Look at the back of her head. Meh. Which, if people don't know what RLS is, it's restless leg. Yeah, we're well aware. Syndrome. Meh. And um, that stuff comes with, if, if, if you have fibromyalgia, so. And by the way, she's self-diagnosed everything on her body. Everything is self-diagnosed by her. I know, look at the front of her head. It's just grease. Her hair ain't gonna move. And osteo gets restless leg syndrome. Um, I I didn't get a lot of sleep, and my legs. Were <laughs> Bella Wolf said, "B.S. I have fibro and I don't get restless leg syndrome." I know. See, the fun part is, is a lot of people have the diagnosis she has diagnosed herself with. And it's used for empathy. Why? Because people are always like, why don't you get off your ass and go work? Right? Well, she can't, guys. She can't. She has the whole alphabet of ailments. You are correct, Christy. So, and by the way, she's never been properly diagnosed. I'm just letting you know this because it's very important. <laughs> But anyone with any 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 of these or worked in hospitals, um, she can Google all day long, but there's people out there really suffering that can tell you a bunch of her stuff is BS. Wouldn't stop moving last night and... Um, Why don't you eat a banana? Surprise. When you sit with your legs crossed on the couch 12 hours a day, I'm going to assume you're going to have some muscle cramping maybe some apathy, because you just don't use your body as God intended. So you're going to have restless leg syndrome, all kinds of other stuff. 
surprised Watermelon survived that because the whole time she was, like, sleeping at my feet. Watermelon is a cat. Uh, so today I went to the hospital. Today she went to the hospital. Greasy like that? With bedhead? Like, for real? Got some x-rays done. I don't know what is within the x-rays. I gotta wait until I see my doctor on Monday. Did you ever see her doctor yesterday? Hmm. She sure didn't talk about it, did she? Over the x-ray. Even though they did a video yesterday. X x-ray stuff, but I already know it's gonna be really bad. Especially my knees, because they, they, they cause the majority of my pain throughout the day. I know I have hip pain. Because you don't move. And that can be, that can be the worst pain you've ever experienced is hip pain. But my knees are the majority of like feeling pain. Okay. Um, Quit sniffing. It's hard to walk. It feels like I'm going to collapse when I walk, so thank God they have wheelchairs in the hospital because I don't, I, I don't even know how I'm going to make it in the doctor's office. I hope that... I have questions. So you don't have a car because G-Man said it's not there anymore, so you probably sold it for a little cash. Um, or even the friends in the neighborhood said... His friends in the neighborhood said the car's not there anymore. And I'm going to I'm gonna guess they're talking about that hoopty, that uh, red interior Lincoln. Because we know Jason left the SUV that you guys drove over the railroad tracks. And, and your falling apart body actually lifted off the railroad tracks. I don't know how you pulled it off there, King Kong, but you did. And uh, that one he left on the highway. <laughs> you know what? No, Shani's not 40. Shani's not 40. She's younger. She's younger than um, Foodie Beauty, right? Yeah, she's younger than Foodie Beauty. Um, anyway, uh, so how did you get to the hospital? How did you walk to from the couch to a vehicle to inside the hospital. Still listening to her story, trying to figure it out. I hope they have a wheelchair. It's a new place, so I don't... Not a... It's a new hospital? It's a new place? A new hospital? New doctor, but a new place. He went somewhere else, so I don't... So is it an urgent care? And you're just calling it a hospital? That would be my guess, if you went. I honestly don't know. She just turned 40? No. Oh, I'm thinking of Amber Lynn. Amber Lynn is younger than Shani and Foodie. You're right. If they have wheelchairs in the facility, I hope they do. Because really. um, I require one. The thing that's always required is gas money. That's my issue. So, so do you hear Rev? Do you hear Rev? Uh, the one thing that's always required is gas money. That's all I'm going to say. You don't have a car. And everybody knows it. And Shani's looking at him because she knows that everybody knows they don't have a car. So this is a money grift. So I'm hoping that... that People can help out with gas money. I'm hoping people can help out with gas money, he said. That's always an issue. Uh, yeah. We need a car. We do need a car. You have to have. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we need a car. Yeah, because you don't have a car. Yeah, we have to have a car. Well, I need a car. I need, I need, a, you need a, a driver. A transport. Yes. A transporter to one facility to the next. Exactly. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, when you have Medicaid, Medicare, call it what you want, whatever they have, um, you can get um, free rides. So there's that. 
Yeah, can somebody just give them a car? Then it'll be something else. I mean, it's been two years of this. Every day is something else. I still got to get another mammogram. A another? You never got the first one after people donated all that money. You never got the first one. What do you mean another mammogram? I thought you were dying of breast cancer. Um, why would you need another one a year later? They, we went to the hospital. We asked if I could get my mammogram there. They're like, nah. Yeah, because that's how it works, Shani. You go in and say, could I get a mammogram today too? What? See? Uh... True so, that. True that, lock dog. Gotta call. Gotta call. The pl yeah, I gotta wait for Weird. a bunch of things on Monday because they couldn't test me for certain things today. They look. See, right here. That is not an emergency room. You probably went, if you went anywhere, which I'm doubting. I am doubting. I am doubting. Right. And, and um, if it's a new clinic and you're drug seeking, uh, they will alert each other. It's in a system under your name. Ding dong. This is the horse and buggy days where the telegram didn't get to the next place before you showed up. It looked, the, the, the place looked understaffed, too. Um, a yeah. hospital looked understaffed. Okay. It's like I came in to the hospital and like no one was in the emergency room. And as soon as I came in, just a bunch of people started yeah, pouring in. Like five people just showed up when you went in. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, there was no one there when I was there. Like empty. Yeah. Um, yeah, sniff, sniff. It seems like everyone's getting sick, though, but like the hospitals are always empty lately. Yeah. What? Lately? What have you been going weekly looking for some pain meds? I don't get it. Remember when she sent Rev to, um, you know, get pain meds? That was the 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 day he went and partied with Robert, <laughs> and she was like, "You need to get to the hospital and pick up your prescription." And he said, "It's like a three hour wait at the pharmacy." She said, "I don't care. You need to get those pills." Remember that? Remember that? Do they just like? diagnose us and then like w w or they don't as in my case they didn't diagnose me with anything or give me any oh so you're not dying and they didn't give you anything what's going on they just took my papers and yeah took my x-rays and said all right you can wait till your doctor's appointment see you on monday oh okay so no pain pills okay or you got some pretty heavy eyes Thanks. I did hear the person who took my x-ray, the radiologist, um, he did say my knee looked like it was smashed. <laughs> yeah, because that's what a medically trained radiologist would say as a word. Smashed. Your knee looks smashed. Radiologist. No, they're not even allowed to say anything. They do the test and away you go. And then they're red. And actually that's a radiologist tech that takes the x-rays, not the radiologist. The radiologist reads the x-rays. Then he verbally uh, dictates the findings, which are then uploaded for your physician to read. The end. It does. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't even, like, my knee can't even straighten. It's like crooked on the side. Yeah. Like, I don't Listen to Rev next to her. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Shani, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not in the correct. You know how your kneecap's in the middle? Of your knee? Yeah. Your leg, you mean? Well, in my leg, it's on the side of my knee. Like, yeah, the radio, the radio, radiology tech probably said, you look smashed. <laughs> now look at, she's got bed head. 
She's greasy. And she's saying she left the house, went to the emergency room. Right? Come on now. None of this even smells like partially the truth. Hey, I wish... Let me see. Oh, please do. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I don't know if you could show it. Perfect. Yeah, he's like, I don't know if you could show it. Rev doesn't want her to show it. Maybe I can? I don't know. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, this is her hoof, right? Bent. The knee will be right here. Right there will be your kneecap. Not here on your big thigh. Your kneecap will be here, and then your leg is bent. This is my knee. Oh, my God. That is not your knee. Your knee is bent way up here. How high is she? Like for real. Huh, for <laughs> it looks smashed all right. <laughs> There's a peanut butter bowl under the table. What? Oh my god, don't make me vomit. You see how the kneecap should be here? No, I see how your kneecap should be up here. And we'll see it when you pull your sock back up. The kneecap is actually... No, that's your thigh. Like, on the side. Mm -hmm. No, okay. no. Yeah. So, it's... it's yeah. She's trying to tell you this is her kneecap over here. Well, you see a bent kneecap. <laughs> yeah, you can see, like, the kneecap is here. No, the kneecap is there, sweetheart. And that's where it should be. Now watch. Much. Yeah. Real messed up. It's really messed up. Yeah. And very painful. And as you can see, very swollen. swollen. Fat. Swollen. Just. No. Yeah, of course you're swollen. Just all around it. Just swollen. Yep. Um. Okay, here comes the sock. True. So. Boom. See the legs bent? That's her thigh. <laughs> it's water weight. It's just water weight, people. Looks like a slab of beef. I was like picturing like, you know, from the Flintstones, that big brontosaurus leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, if your kneecap was on the side, <laughs> get out of here. So. <clears throat> see, did you see? Okay, let's back it up. Hold on, we're gonna slow-mo that bitch. Then we're gonna look for the peanut butter. What? Okay, hold on. Tig's not now. We're looking at a disfigured kneecap. So stop. Okay, here we go. The swollen. Yeah. Um, Pull it up. So. Boom. There's her kneecap over here. See how her leg is? Stop. What's under this table, though? Oh, come on. Don't be grainy. What is this shit? I can't tell. It's all blurry. Okay, what is this stuff? Sorry. Ah, that's a jump scare and a half. Hold on, I can't see the stuff. Oh, that leg. Oh my God, just look at the, look at the, Skinniest part of your leg. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I would so get. Oh my gosh. I don't know how you do it, Rev. We, you know what, Rev, whatever. Have fun with that. Yeah, it's too blurry. She did it too fast. No, those are like leg warmer stockings. They're not even compression <laughs> stockings. <laughs> Look at all the paraphernalia. Yeah, I can only imagine. There's a nice tube of something. I don't know. Don't care. What is that under the table? 
This, I don't, this is like a laptop, but I don't know what that disgusting thing is. Sorry for my mess. Uh, that is my dilemma. I have another dilemma. Let me guess, you're broke? You need some money? Because I went to a food bank a while ago and I got these. Why would you pick those out if you don't have a Keurig coffee maker? Why would you take those from a food bank? It's a bread bowl full of PB and J. Yuck. There, there are these coffee pods. Uh huh. And I have no Keurig. So then, why'd you take them? Are you begging for a Keurig now? To use said coffee pods. So, is there like some kind of ingenious way? How no, her hair is not wet. It's greasy. I can make coffee from this. Like I was thinking, like how the coffee machine works is it pokes a hole on this side and the bottom. And yeah, she'd be mad if they gave her water pills. <laughs> so far, they need gas money for a car they don't have. And then they need the car to put the gas in. And now they need a Keurig. Uh, for the pods they took from a food bank. It pours hot water in it, but yet presses. It doesn't press. So when you open your Keurig, that little K-cup is not pressed. Ding dong. It is just hot water that runs through it. Probably not good for us. The, the coffee beans. You know, so I'm wondering... I'm wondering if you've got a regular coffee pot, why you don't just cut those open, pour the coffee grounds into the uh, little filter, or why didn't you just take a can of coffee grounds from, from the pantry? I mean, I love when she thinks that her content is... In any way, genius. In any sort of the way. And can you do this without a Keurig? Yeah. Huh? So, you could leave a comment on that. Yeah. In other words, she needs engagement because her, ever, her Instagram's dead. They're lucky they get 10 people in there. Um, Making Keurig coffee without a Keurig. <laughs> I know, Rev's uncle, I don't know how he lets them stay there except for... I feel like every time Shani's like, I have cancer. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, I went to the emergency room. I feel like it is a way to manipulate the uncle into not kicking them out. When the truth is, they are just squatting. They're squatters. Yeah, exactly. So... I'm just wondering how the heck I could do that. And and I I love your prayers. Look at her. What are you drinking? Wine? Did you take that from the food bank? I very much appreciate them. Mm -hmm. um, I just appreciate them. But she'd rather have the money for Delta 9. Del Monday, I'm going to ask the doctor which was yesterday, and she has never even mentioned she went to the doctor yesterday. If I could get some, you know, steroids injected in me, because I heard that helps a lot with the pain, and, and I'm at the point where it comes to my knee and hip pain that I, hi, Sparkle. Yeah, why don't you soak your big swollen body in a bathtub and then Rev can sit on the edge of the bathtub and shampoo your hair with a cup like a little kid. Why don't you try that? This is the, you're so gross. You, you, I'm so glad there's no such thing as smell of vision Please, Elon Musk, don't ever, ever, ever create that technology. Thank you very much. I just, I. Yeah, she's a performance artist. I can't do it anymore. Well, then log off. Just log off. 
You can't do what anymore, Shani? You said this um, years ago. I just, I just can't do this anymore. Do what? I just can't do it anymore. The pain just need a strainer and hot water. Yeah, pretty much. That's true. Yeah. I was just thinking of that. Maybe like some cheesecloth. Yeah. To the back of her head. Does that look like anybody that went anywhere today? It looks like somebody who just woke up. Yeah. Her side knee. <laughs> Shani has a side knee. Need to figure that out. Anyway. I'd love a coffee maker. Ten bucks. Ten bucks at Walmart. Ten bucks at Walmart, people. Would you just send them a coffee maker? Send them a coffee maker. <laughs> Diamond Paw. Seriously, 10 bucks at Walmart. You got, you got a coffee maker. I know. It's pretty cheap. Well, yeah, maybe Foodie can give her advice about vitamin injections. Oh, maybe that will help her. Uh huh. Oh, God. Is it a Keurig that will be a potter? Honey, you can open the pods and just pour the coffee in the paper filter. Yeah, if you weren't so high, you could think logically. Whole thing got coffee. That's, you just open the pot. Oh, yeah, there's that. Powdered coffee. Oh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh my God, her smile like creeps me out. It's like, do you want to play a game? I'll show you. Oh uh, yeah, there's that. Powdered coffee. <laughs> right there. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> God help us. Here you go. There it is. They need to get her a dog brush from the pet store. She just is so gross. Just gross. There you go. That's, yeah. It sucks being poor. Oh, does it? Does it suck being poor, living for free, and this, and the uncle's paying all the utilities, the taxes, property taxes, and you two sit in there on your ass and you smoke in the house, you're destroying the furniture. The floor is disgusting, or she says disgusting. You refuse to work. You refuse to even care about the uncle. Poe. Po, yeah, Poe. Po. Yeah, not not poor. Poe. I can't afford the O and R. Yeah, you see all baby. Yeah, they both just woke up. Uh, uh, he's over there yawning. Bet those curtains are more yellow than we can tell. Absolutely. Yep, they spent all Rev's inheritance. Well, let's say Shani did. Trying to be a celebrity on YouTube. Trying to be a Trisha Paytas. Um, she was buying all kinds of things for content. Not things for the kids. The kids didn't even get... Um, bedroom sets, TV, dresser, nothing. They slept on a, one slept on a um, air mattress and the other one slept on a mattress on the floor with sheets that looked like had been dragged through mud. It was so disgusting. Um, their room had a refrigerator, TV, they had computers, they bought laptops, they bought streaming equipment, they bought a full bed set, um, the, seriously, seriously, they spent three quarters of a million dollars and never bought a house or a car. But no, Tiggs. How are you in the waiting room? The waiting room of what? You didn't go anywhere. Oh, fine. Yeah, I was just watching the huge, massive TV. It was like eighty inch TV. No, she wasn't always this big. I mean, she's always been like heavy set, but. Um, about, uh, let's see, six years ago when she met Rev or seven, I don't even, six years ago, she actually, like, they went everywhere together. They even went to a meet Trisha Paytas thing. Um, I think he paid 10 grand so she could meet Trisha Paytas. 
Um, they just spent, spent money on the stupidest shit. They went out to eat. But once she parked her fat ass on the bed and started ordering takeout, which, by the way, the kids didn't get the takeout. She did. Um, her and Rev in their bedroom. Uh, it sound familiar? Anyway, um, she started putting on the weight because she was smoking dope like you'd never seen in Colorado. And boy, did she get an appetite. And then she just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I was watching, um... Yikes. Look at this freaked out, cracked out Peter Frampton. Right here. You're looking rough. You need some vitamin D. You need some sunlight. Sh Rev? Rev? How was your night's sleep with being all cuddled up to the Shan monster? How was it, buddy? How was it? I'll bet you, yeah. Run, Rev. I don't know why I gave him this, but... Because you're pretty? No. I No. I was, Laura, I was just watching the Weather Channel. I look like ass. You smell like ass, too. He's probably thinking. <laughs> yeah, cheesecloth would be fine. No, uh, uh... Believe it or not, she really doesn't like him talking to the chat. They're both sniffing and wiping their nose. That's all I'm gonna say. We need a coffee maker. I'm sorry, I feel real bad today. Sorry. Whatever, pray to Jesus. Both of us feel bad. Yeah, both of us. Don't leave Shani out. Yeah. Wow. Wow, oh my gosh. Same old, same old. Oh. She's just next to him, oh. No, Tigsy. I mean, you couldn't have it on the table like that. I don't know why I'm holding it. Yeah, there, you got a point there. You like, I don't you, know. you, 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 you like holding. Yeah, you don't like holding it. No, I like it being there. There you go. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lot better. We have like. Uh, that hair has not moved. Half faces. Half Can you imagine running your hands through your hair and your hair doesn't fall down? After you run that last fingers through it. Can you even imagine? It just stays in that position. That is the grossest stuff. Why do you go live when you're so gross? Yeah, G-Man offered uh, to give Rev $10,000 um, from the sale of the house if he left Shanny. Yeah, boy, Rev. Mm. That's cool, it works. There's nothing funny about that. What are you on? Listen, watch her. We have like half faces. We have like half faces. Half half. She can bear like she can barely keep her eyes open. That's cool. It works. It's fine. Yeah, don't let the world know you're high. Oh, if you think, if you don't think that Rev would rather sit next to her and be high all day in his uncle's house for free, you know, I mean, I know, and his skin's getting gray. He needs to go out in the sun. Oh. It ain't landscape orientation on Instagram. No. They don't like landscape. They like uh, portrait. They should do a landscape. It'd be better to present like two people. Yeah. She's talking about Instagram. Doesn't let you do horizontal. If Rev was stupid and desperate enough to go broke over Shanny, he was destined to lose that money. Absolutely. Because I got to lean in and you got to lean in to show your full face. He is not going to lean into you. Promise you that. Look at his face even. Look at I love when Rev gives it away. He's like, no, I'm not leaning in. What? What? <laughs> Greasy girl. What? <laughs> These are just facts, Shani. This isn't hate. These are facts. You come on here, you preach uh, the word of the Bible while you do nothing to fix your situation and you tell people how they're supposed to live and then you call them haters if they don't give you their money. So sometimes people preach and use it as a weapon to weaponize 
against people. And it's so obvious that you are not doing for yourself. There's a couple verses in the Bible where you could probably learn something. And one of them is God does for those that do for themselves. She's always in the same clothes. She's always dirty. She does not clean her body as she should. It, it's it, And then the drug use. I'm sorry, but that's just the tongue of a serpent to me. Days. Yeah, now my computer screen's all oily from these two. That's fine. I mean, that works too. You're doing much better. Uh, not really. I'm in a lot of pain. Yeah, that doesn't stop. You wouldn't be able to sit like that. You'd be laying in bed with your knees, um, like with like a pillow between your legs. If you had the hip issue or the knee issues, everybody knows that. No. Her pain never stops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know, Rev. And lucky you. No. Kind of like Foodie Beauty. I feel like they're watching each other's content. It is weird. It's like my face. It's like it's like when my face <clears throat> isn't there, it goes dark. Yeah. It wow. It couldn't have anything to do with the camera and the sensor of the sensitivity of light, right? So when your big face blocks the whole window, then that means the 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 light in the camera is going to focus on you. But the light behind you is drowning out light. You, wow, she's so smart, but she don't get it, huh? Boy, that must be some good shit you got. It, wait. Just do that autofocus deal. I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know either. It's just like, it... Like, maybe I'm just a natural light, and it's like, I just... Oh, yes, you are, you are everything of a natural light. Bring a natural light to Yes, me. absolutely. Maybe. I don't... maybe. A celestial glow. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Ah, <laughs> Oh, <coughs> yuck. No, no. I took a shower today. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And you know you didn't. You got hamburger patty eyes. Stop. Yes. No. This is wind in my hair. Wind from what? You farting or did you open a window? Because we know you didn't go outside. Here. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rub your nose. Both of them. <sighs> there has not been one... Not one. Uh, I feel like poo. But we found... Keep sniffing. Something out today. Mm -hmm. About a bunch of people. Oh, we're going to gossip about a bunch of people. Now, this is probably where people get schooled because they're not getting any money. Imagine the odor of that couch. So, apparently... Uh-huh. Russell Brand. Uh-huh. Joe Rogan. Uh-huh. And Jim Carrey... Uh-huh. ...have found Christ. Oh, my gosh. They're the only three? They're the only three in this world that have found Christ. Wow. Wow. They're all believers. They're all believers right now. I don't know if Joe Rogan has... He said we need Jesus, but I yeah. don't know if that was a statement of faith. But he's getting... It. Oh, because you guys always judge people's faith. They, getting... If you didn't know, they always mentioned celebrities. They're obsessed with celebrities. They always mention them, hoping that they'll get a return mention. They have done this for years. They've always talked about people that are at a celebrity status. And they, they uh, honestly, I still can't believe they're still doing this. Let's get in there. That's for yeah. Sure. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's reading the Bible. He's seeing that the prophecies have come true and are good. The prophecies have come true. I mean, we could be heading there. I'm a little concerned about this uh, 
lining up of this total eclipse in, uh, I don't even know, three weeks. Are coming true. Yeah. He's realizing the nature of Jesus and how we forgive through our suffering. Wow. That's what you got out of it? That's what you got out of it? <laughs> he died for the righteous because of the non-righteous. Um, like, it's awesome. It's awesome. Boy, she really quoting the Bible today, isn't she? You didn't write it down today? Yeah, why don't you realize the nature of a toothbrush and some good shampoo? Yeah, you heard about the eclipse? Yeah. Seven years, exactly. But this one's going to be a total eclipse. Mm-hmm. And usually that will trigger some sort of seismic activity, you know? And you got to look at the path of the total eclipse and the fault lines and the things and the things of the things. Because everybody knows that everything um, that keeps our Earth balanced is what happens in the sky. So I don't know, but you know, it's come. It's coming regardless. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, if you ever get mad at someone, just remember Jesus on the cross. So when people get mad at you, we're supposed to think of Jesus on the cross that died for the righteous, died for those because of the non-righteous. So everyone's sins could be forgiven. So you sit there going, well, we don't have to do anything. Our sins are forgiven. How would Jesus feel about giving you this body to house your spirit that you use for nothing, not even cleanliness, and you preach to people about how they can't hate what you're doing because that means they're going against God. I can't with this one. Uh, in the Bible, it does state that you can judge righteousness. Amen. And no. Uh, Francis says, now I remember why I avoid these two. I'll catch up later. Okay, Francis. He forgave the people that did that to him. So get your wallets out. Get your wallets out, everybody. Put him on that cross. He forgave them and not only forgave them, but loved them. He. <laughs> Can you with her? This is your in-depth Bible study. Loved the people that put him on that cross. Break one. Yeah. That would be the Roman soldiers. Uh, that's, a, that's amazing. While they're doing. That's amazing. Amazing. Um, so if we're sitting here on a couch, grifting, squatting, and we're affecting other people's lives by destroying this house, and we're just getting high and drug seeking every day, um, it's amazing. You should just love us. <laughs> That's what I'm getting out of it. They're doing this horrific act. Like you two are doing. He was loving them and forgiving them. And that, that's just, wow. Wow. Blows my mind. Okay, Cheech. That just blows my mind. Like, wow. I can't believe you preach the, the Lord's name while you're high as a kite. Yeah, I do. She's done it many times. Actually smoking a big J. I'm not saying that's against it, but it just, it, it just doesn't look good. It's just not a good look. Yeah, they're ro yeah, they're reading the Bible while they're rolling joints. Forgive. Oh, that's it. <sighs> that was the end. God. Oh, our girl's so swollen. I'm sure God is disappointed. Well, that's their walk, right? I'm just saying, did she go to the hospital, a new hospital, or did a new dock in the box opened up and she ran in with her knee? her knee that's somehow now located up on her thigh to get some pain meds. Was she successful? Looks like it. Did we take them orally? Doesn't look like it. These two. I can't with them. Yeah. 
You gonna go walk your walk? All right, Snickers. I gotta go to the post office and um, the grocery store. I didn't go to the grocery store yesterday. Mm-mm. I just didn't. I had too many phone calls rolling in. I didn't. Need the, I seen the kneecap, but it was way lower than that big thigh. Yeah, the pain disappears real quick when she's mad at Rev and chasing him down the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get some health advice from... Yeah, next, let's get some health advice from Foodie and ALR, too. <laughs> now, you got to keep in mind, some people use... Uh, they weaponize religion. Let's just say that. Because they're not living the life that they preach to you. So, Wow. And they put it as content. There's plenty that do it. There's plenty that do it. Hell, there's even evangelists that do it. I'm just saying. Um, it's your walk. It's your private walk. Don't let anybody tell you about that. That is your journey. The end. <laughs> but I like to cover, uh, I like to actually judge the actions of righteous, non-righteousness or non-righteous. I just do. No, I haven't heard from MFW. I don't do the TikToks anymore. They always try to guilt Christians into giving them money. There it is. They've been doing it for two years sitting on that couch. When they had all the money, $750,000, they didn't give a shit about any of you or her kids. All they cared about was their YouTube channel and flexing their money and um, being better than everyone. So there's that. And they still preached. Yeah. So yeah, all you got to do is look at the actions, right? So when they had $750,000, three quarters of a million dollars, um, not giving to Super Chats on YouTube, uh, but actually doing something in their community or getting a home, a modest, not, you know, expensive home, paid in full for her children to have a home, proper um, train or proper education for her autistic child, they would have been more of a um, positive influence or a positive message than what they were doing. They were getting high, eating takeout. Uh, the kids were malnourished. It, it was a whole thing. So I'm sorry. I don't dance with the devil, but I sure as hell will call them out. I will call out the actions of the devil. I'm sorry, but I will. And to me, it's a good versus evil thing. Like, it, it, it's, um, it's like a false witness. And that's how I see it. Right? They'll preach to you, but they're doing lies. The lies, the serpent tongue kind of shit. I don't like that stuff. They've moved into a 3K a month um, townhouse, yes, and indulged for two years till the money was gone. Mm -hmm. and scream to the internet to help them when the money was gone. Mm -hmm. They did a whole live stream. It was gold. It was gold. We can cover that someday. The, we'll call it the eviction when they got evicted. Oh, that was gold. It was crazy. I think Shani and Sh Chantel are cut from the same cloth. Well, like I said, some people have um, no empathy for real. Like, they don't possess it. So anything they say or do is okay in their own mind. They even blew right through the stimulus money. Of course they did. Of course they did. Um, yeah, 3K a month is cheap now. Because that was three bedroom, two bath, two story house with granite counters. Yeah, and they're still mad at G-Man. Because he didn't just do what they wanted him to do. Um... They held, they they came to his rescue in need to show the world they were very, um, like, uh, empathetic, and but then they used it all against him. They didn't do a kind, de a kind gesture or deed because when they blew all the money, they drove straight to him. They drove straight to G-Man and demanded they live in that house that he had fixed up, fixed the roof. Um, it was a shit show, that house. It cost him so much money to fix it up. And they walked right in that door and squatted. And he let them. 
because he felt guilty. It, it was crazy. Is discernment not a thing anymore? Yes, yeah, it goes with common sense, right? Yeah, she neglected her autistic child. She gave him no, no nothing. No special programs. No, they, they didn't even feed him. They were malnourished while she was sitting there at 500 pounds. I mean, that's not an uncommon thing. He took care of them for a year and they took advantage. Of course, of course, that's what they do. They're taking advantage of the uncle right now who, that's the grandparents' house. And uh, Rev, and, well, Shani believes that Rev's entitled to it. He's entitled to it. And so she keeps, you know, coming up with all these health reasons. She can't leave the house. She can't walk. She's got cancer. People gave her money. She never even went in, um, got diagnosed with cancer. It's a whole thing. And, and it just keeps on and keeps on. But once in a while, I like to do a catch up with these two. And uh, yeah, he threw them out, put them in that hotel. And then the hotel ended up being demolished. Uh, there's a whole new thing with Rev being <laughs> interviewed. They were they were living in that hotel. They were on begging for 10 bucks every single night while they were in that hotel. Shani sat in the dark with her legs crossed on the bed, bigger than ever, um, begging for pizza and Subway and I need my medicine, which means Delta 8 or Delta 9. Uh, it, everything they did, people called adult services on them and then adult services came there and assessed them and said, yeah, there's nothing we can do for them. They're, they're able-bodied. You know what I'm saying? It's cr food, food, that kind of shit. Rev could have got a job at the corner gas station. He was offered a job. No, you can't leave Shani's side, you see, because you might cheat on her. It's a whole thing. Yeah, they sold the house to G-Man for a dollar because they didn't want to pay the taxes on it. And they left the air conditioning on when they moved to Colorado and the condensation uh, made the roof leak. And it, it was like almost, it was uninhabitable, uninhabitable. G-Man said, I will take it, but I'm doing this legally with paperwork because I, if I put money into this and you screw me over, right? So they did it all legally. He signed it, everything. Lawyers involved, paperwork. And then G-Man spent a year working on the roof of that house, putting his money in it, working extra hard to have the extra money to fix the house up. And they just showed up out of Colorado and boom, knocked on the door with two kids, two cats. And he let them live in there because he felt guilty. They made him feel guilty on the internet. They really did. Oh, the bathrooms. The tour of the, the tour of that townhouse when they left Colorado was something you'd see in an episode of Hoarders. They destroyed it. I'm pretty sure there's a lawsuit somewhere <laughs> waiting for them to come back to Colorado. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, so, you know, fast forward, they're, they're sitting on the uncle's couch. They've been sitting on that couch for two years now. People like that, yeah, that preach to you, yeah. Mm, especially when you could have spent your time with your children, but I'm really happy they're where they're at. She's still mind effing them, well, at least the oldest one, into believing that it's all the internet's fault. It's all the internet's fault that, you know, they're not with her. Um, they ha She has them so brainwashed. I, I promise you when um, William turns 18, which is this year or next? Does anybody remember? this year or next, um, that he's gonna be taking care of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so hopefully he don't, um, but she keeps in touch with him on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think she's gonna have him come back and work and provide all her needs. It'll be his job as her son, according to the Bible. Trust that. She will probably ruin his life like Rev's mom ruined his life. Mm -hmm. Except for Rev's mom never required him to be a man or work. She just wanted him home with her. It's just sad because Rev, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? She will film that too. 
that William's there to take care of her. And you're all liars and haters. It's really sad. She don't get the best thing she could do is let her sons go and prosper. Go to school, go to college. And live their life on their own path. But no, everybody's path is to Shani. If you didn't know it, everyone's path is to Shani. She thinks she says, oh, well, and she said she sits on the right hand of the Lord. Wow. Wow. She wants the boys to fulfill their roles as, as sons, but won't fulfill hers as their mother. Right. She is toxic. She is toxic. Speaking of toxic, oh my gosh. Are you guys following the Sebastian Rogers, the autistic child, 15 years old, just disappeared under the mom's watch and the stepfather? You guys listen to the stepfather? And then I'm watching JLR Investigates. He's over in New Mexico. Well, that was about five days ago. Uh, found some things out about the stepfather from New Mexico. Did you know they were going to call Sebastian to the court case that the mother of the stepdad um, in New Mexico, who has a kid with him, this has all been proven with paperwork and shit, um, is going to court for full custody because he was abusive to the child. And and then it's apparently Sebastian was going to be called, and he's autistic, so he's going to be truthful. Um, uh, to the stand, uh, to, oh my God, now he's gone. It's been two weeks now, but if you listen to the stepfather in any of the interviews, just watch a behavioral panel. Like seriously, no, it's not his son. His, listen, his father Seth's father is a deputy. He's a police officer. He has been out looking for his son every day for almost three weeks now. And they are not collaborating. Trust that. They're, they're not collaborating. I don't, I don't care. The first day when the police came there... Um, when she said he was missing, that is the, that's the day he sat there with them, with the police. Other than that, he's been out looking for his son. And the stepdad and the, step, and the mom, they ain't, doing, they ain't looking. They ain't looking. And did you know that um, a Sebastian, Seth is the dad. Sebastian um, was going to go be living with his father full time. So... We can cover that and talk about it because there are so many holes in his story, their story. There are so many holes in their story. And one of them is he left the house in the middle of the night with no shoes and a flashlight. How would you know he had a flashlight? So if your child goes missing in the night and you see all his shoes, you can make that statement. But who's running around looking for other items? Well, uh, where's the remote? Oh, he took the remote. Nobody's running around looking for items. I am just thinking as a mom, like, that would be the last thing on my mind. I don't even know where my flashlight is right now. You know what I'm saying? So, they're, they, they're, some of this stuff, I'm telling you, the stories have changed a couple times with the mom. Um, there's so much. So, we can, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. I Seriously, I like to talk about all kinds of shit. I am just so sick for this autistic child. I mean... I am sick about it. And I guarantee you, half the, half, it's coming out. The truth's coming out. We got about 240 miles to cover between um, Hendersonville by Nashville, Tennessee, and what was it, Gatlinburg, where he said he went to work, but he went to work at 9 p.m. It's a three hour drive. Why would you leave at 9 in, in 9 p.m.? And, and who, I got a question. Who was in the truck with you, sir? Who was in your vehicle with you? So we got about 240 miles to cover of a lot of wooded area. He's barefoot with a flashlight. 
How would you even know the flashlight's missing? I mean, that was immediate. That was the immediate interview. Not three weeks later. Hey, we noticed our flashlight's missing. Now, I think you two clowns took a flashlight. Why are these parents losing their minds? Because the internet, it made it to the YouTubes. It didn't stay local. It has made it to the YouTubes. And you know our YouTube uh, true crime sleuths and the behavior panel. Mm. And he just keeps doubling down. You guys are all looking in the right, wrong direction, looking at us. That's Chris Watts all day. Uh, you guys, I've everything's been proven. We've been vetted. We've been cleared. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Uh, Summer Wells' parents haven't been cleared. If they, if they, if you were cleared, oh, trust me when I say the news will clear you. You haven't been cleared. Don't try to manipulate us. It won't work. I don't know what crap you, you have done to that woman and her autistic child, but I'll tell you right now, sir, sir, uh, manipulation, gaslighting, and projecting do not work on people who don't fall down on their knees for your words. I'm telling you right now. But anyway, do your research and we'll talk about it, okay? All right, guys. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. And um, I may see you later. Okay, then. Bye, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for being members. And thank you for shopping in my Etsy store. If you want the link, it's in my About section. We have new shirts in there. And I'm working on more for summer. Anyway, love you guys.